Hi everybody. I'm doing this video in response to a question I received from a teacher in Northern Ohio that's beta testing the Tinker Pie with her classroom. And she's been going through the 37 sensor series for Key Studios and we are hooking up the, the uh, sensors to the Uno. And her question was, will this work with the micro bit? And my answer was, uh, probably, but I'll have to play with it to find out. So that's what we're going to do in this video, and I'd like to give a shout out to Mrs. Greathouse and her class in Youngstown, Ohio, and I hope you guys are having fun with your, your Tinker Pies. So let's have fun, and it's Tinker time. So what we have here is, of course, a micro bit, and this has a, a, a case that uh, goes with the the Tinker Pie robot, which is which is right here. This also has a motor board that runs the wheels, and we're going to be using that. And I know it's overkill, but it's it's the only uh, header or breakout that I have for the micro bit presently. Um, so I'm going to be using that. And this is actually a nice little board. It's you plug the micro bit bit in, and it'll work with the motor board this way and then you plug it in the other direction and then it works with this row of pins. Well actually it wasn't a row of pins when I bought it, it was a row of holes and I, I had to solder the, the header in which wasn't difficult. Okay, so um, there we have that. I'm going to plug this in here. Then we've got the Piranha LED which is what we're going to be using for this test. So let's uh, hop over to the computer, and if you've been following the, the Key Studios 37 sensor uh, tutorial series, uh, this is their wiki, and here's a picture of it, specifications. Um, the only potential issue I can see is that the, the voltage is 5 volts, and uh, the micro bit is 3 volts, which shouldn't be a problem since we're going down, you never want to go up. Um, but. Uh, it may be a little dim. That's my guess. Okay, then we have a connection diagram that, that goes with the uh, Arduino Uno. So we have uh, ground and then positive going into 5 volts and then the S signal blue going into digital 3 and then the sample code. Okay, so let's wire it up. We're going to plug it into the power in the Raspberry Pi. this in here. Okay, so the positive, the ground it says minus, the blue goes into the signal, then we'll swing that around and plug that into pin 0, which is the second one. Then we'll plug this into ground the red into 3 volts. Okay. Okay, we're all wired up and ready to go. So let's go back over to the computer. And I am remoting into the Pi and uh, programming the, the micro bit from the Pi. You could just as easily uh, plug the micro bit directly into your Mac or your PC. I'm just uh, going through the Pi, it's just a preference. So I'm going to go into VNC, and this little box will pop up if you're on the Pi, uh, saying uh, you've just plugged something in. Do you want to open it in File Manager? I'm going to click OK. And then I'm going to open a browser. I'm going to go into Chromium, and we're going to go out to the, the Make Code, which is uh, Microsoft's website for programming the, the micro bit. So if you're not familiar with this, over here on the left we have a picture of the micro bit which is actually a simulation so you can do a lot of debugging uh, without even having to put your code on the micro bit itself. So uh, over here we have a block program if you're familiar with uh, programs like Scratch where you have an on start, these are the things that will happen when it when it boots up. You have a forever loop which continually checks for something to happen. 
So we're going to be uh, kind of mimicking what, what we were doing with uh, Arduino. So we'll want to go down and grab in the advanced. We want to set the digital pin. So we're going to go to pins. Digital pin 0 to 1, which is on. So digital right pin 0. And drag it into the forever loop. See if I can move this over a little bit. I'm going to set it to one, and then we're going to wait two seconds like we did before. Let's go to the bottom here, pause. It's in milliseconds, so we're going to want to say 2000. And you could drag two more blocks over. I like to just right click and duplicate pop it in here, set the digital pin zero to, uh, 0 to 0, which is off. We're going to duplicate this the weight, put that in there. Okay, and then your simulator is going to gray out whenever you uh, make a change. When it comes back, it will, it will do whatever your program is telling it to do. So, um, the, the best it can do here is, is to light up this little little pin. So this is working. We're going um, we're gonna to name it. So I'm going to call this uh, micro bit piranha. Save it. Okay, so what we're going to do now is we're going to take that uh, hex file that was downloaded and we're going to drag it over to the the drive for the micro bit. And once it reboots, and there you go. We got a blinking LED. So, it works. Yay.